All right, here I have this Bluetooth keyboard made by Cinda. Got it off of Amazon for 32 bucks with three prime two day shipping. And it's got three connections. It's got a 214 gigahertz dongle, USB, and two Bluetooth channels. All right, the back has the logo again and a sticker about what it is. The back has another picture and the information about the company. Another sticker and made in China because, of course, these two sides have nothing. And there's the box again. All right, let's open it up. All right, so to open the box, you just release this flap down here. And the whole thing just comes up. I purchased this keyboard so that I wouldn't have to do the touch screen. And upon using this for even just a week, I, I don't know how I've gone so long without one of these. It really is a game changer. So, anyway, here's the keyboard itself. I'll take a look at that later. You, know, you got the user's manual. Just goes over very basic instructions about how to connect it to your computer. I mean, everyone knows about how Bluetooth works these days. And USB is even easier. I mean, well, standard information. So, the one um, interesting bit is about the uh, keys and function as to what the, the shortcut keys do, which I'll show later, but it says here that you also need to press the function key in order to use the function keys because on many keyboards, especially you know these types, they uh, combine the function keys with special shortcut functions such as media controls and other things. So if you want to use the function keys, you have to press a special function button. Uh, but this keyboard does also have a function lock, which turns the function keys permanently on or off. So you can set it so that you don't use the media shortcuts, you use the function keys. And uh, product specifications, in case you are interested. Note section. And sleep mode. And uh, same thing in other languages. And you got charging cable. Micro USB, but this is actually a little bit noteworthy. It's not just a regular. Well, it is a mic. It is a micro USB cable, but it's a little bit different from the ones that I have. For as you can see, it has a sloped edge. While most of my cables, they're perfectly straight, and this is to um, account for the slight curvature in the design of the keyboard. I'll, I'll show you. Not, not really curvature, but. Time to open this thing up. All right, so remove the keyboard from the packaging. Here it is. We can take a look at these uh, shortcut keys up top. You know, we got mute button, volume down, volume up, back, play, pause, forwards, brightness up and down, um, copy all, oh, well, select all, copy, paste, cut, and delete. You got the uh, function 1 through 12 keys, which are activated by the function button down here, as well as the function lock, which permanently turns on the function keys and disables the key shortcuts. Also on the arrow keys is page up, page down, home and end, which is also activated by the function key. And there's a keyboard is also designed with both Windows and Apple in mind by having the keys double up with option and Windows, command and alt. On the back, you got rubber feet. You have the 2.4 gigahertz USB dongle, which is stored by magnets. And you have an information label. There's also a dedicated home button up here for iOS and Android devices. You got the three connection buttons, 2.4 gigahertz, and the two Bluetooth channels. On top, you also got the power switch and the charging port. I tried doing a wired connection. It does not work. This is only for charging. So, let's connect it to a computer. As I've said multiple times, there are two ways of connecting this keyboard to a computer or other device. You either use the 2.4 GHz USB dongle or you use Bluetooth. Let's see. USB dongle, pretty easy. You just take it. Plug it into a USB port, turn the keyboard on, and select 
the 214 gigahertz connection. And there you go. So I'm gonna give you a typing demonstration on my computer. All right, so right now I have the keyboard connected to the computer via the 214 gigahertz wireless Bluetooth dongle and I have notepad open on my computer so I can show you the typing. Um, the media shortcut keys do work. You can adjust the brightness and the volume and all that and whatnot. So, I'm going to give you a typing test right now with the USB dongle and I'll also connect the, computer, the keyboard to the computer with Bluetooth. Connecting via Bluetooth is very standard, just like any Bluetooth device these days. Just open up the Bluetooth menu on your device, go to the menu, and then you just gotta hold down the button on the keyboard for the corresponding Bluetooth channel you want to use. It appears as BT 4.0 plus 214 GKB. And there you go, connected. Time for the test. Alright, so that's my video on this Signal Bluetooth keyboard. I understand that this presentation was absolutely horrible and there's a lot of stuff that I did wrong. In fact, I didn't even tell you the model of the keyboard, which is a SK54. Yeah, I am by no means a high quality or professional, but I wanted to make a video and I hope that some people have actually found their time spent well watching this video.